Hey, it's Billy. And it's Pat. And, and we, we redecorated, redecorated our bedroom. bedroom. It has been a long road to get this bedroom redecorated. Yes, it has. You say? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of steps along the way, but we wanted to make sure that we took the time uh, that we needed to get the bedroom right, because the bedroom is the nicest place yeah. in the house, right? It's where you like relax and get re-energized and eat snacks in bed. <laughs> We were looking for a perfect focal point of our bedroom, and we had a feeling it was gonna be the lighting yeah. that we wanted, because we had hideous, hideous lights. Yeah. <laughs> so we knew we wanted something beautiful to really anchor the bedroom. Mm -hmm. It took us a while to find the right thing. We looked online, we looked in stores, we just didn't find anything that really was like, oh, these are awesome and we want them in the bedroom. Uh... And then these boxes came in the mail. <laughs> they came from Penny York from Warsaw, Poland. I found them on Etsy and they sent us lights to decorate our bedroom around. These are called the hook line lamp and they're this long, beautiful braided rope that hooks with a big hook into the ceiling, but it's cool because you can change it all around. Yeah, that's like, that's the point of Panna Yurik's designs is most of the designs are meant to be interchangeable and movable within the space. So it's kind of perfect for our bedroom. If you want to see more of Panna Yurik's designs, click on the links below. They've got a really cool shop you can check out. The lights, as you can see, look great. And they were actually probably the easiest part of this bedroom yes. makeover. <laughs> we did a lot of work, some uh, removal of old lights. We uh, did some electrical. Gas pipe removal. Oh my gosh, spackling so much spackling. This house is from 1900. Took a lot of work. Yeah, but uh, we documented most of it along the way, so take a look. Yeah. And you can see by the mess on the bed that we are making progress. These sconces are on the wall and they're really ugly, but I thought they were just randomly placed on the wall, but they weren't because this is where old gas pipes came up for gas lanterns that used to come out of the wall. So I'm going to cut the pipe so it has enough space to twist off this top piece, then I can put the cap on this pipe in here, and then I can spackle over all this. And uh, when does the maid come to clean up all this junk on the floor? That's you. Oh, hooray! What's going on over here? So much scraping. <laughs> I'm getting ready, uh, getting everything ready for painting. So I'm scraping off all of the bumps and the blobs of paint and caulk that are along all the baseboard. Then I have to sand it all down and then wash it all down and it sucks. <laughs> How many layers of paint are in there? I, at least 40. This blue up here. So someone had these trims painted blue at one point. Not for long. Okay, here I am. Again, back in scraping and sanding hell. My least favorite job. These walls are, uh, they're, in the, they're not the best shape. They're rough. Uh, they have a lot of uh, TLC that they need right now. Mm, yeah, so yeah. now we're just scraping the shit out of them. <laughs> Someone please come do this for me, thank you. So it's a couple days, weeks later. Uh, we, as you can see, have spackled and prep the wall for painting, but we're taking a little bit of a pause from painting so that we can work on electrical. Uh, Billy and his dad are installing um, some new wires to hook up a light switch for our new uh, lamps in the bedroom, as well as putting in, if you could see, a new plug down there so we can charge our phones and hook up our alarm clocks. So we just knocked some holes down from the attic, so this is where the light's gonna get mounted, so I gotta drill up and make the official hole now. So let's hope the whole ceiling doesn't collapse. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to get this rope through, because that's where the mounting is up in the attic. Oh yeah. Yep. Hey! It's a light. Almost. Look how pretty these are. You can't really see, because I'm holding it, but they're real cute. All right, we got this tightened. Okay. And now we got this heavy, beautiful porcelain hook. Ooh. I got a hook right over here. All right, let's hook it up. Dun, da, 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 da. Okay, that was <laughs> that's exciting that I thought. <laughs> Do you want me to do it slower? No, that's good. <laughs> All right, it's looking good. Oh. See, and they're on these big long ropes, so we can like design them however we want, really. Okay, let's do the big reveal. Let's get these lights working. Okay, let's do this. Hey! Hey! It worked. 
worked. It 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 worked. Okay, day uh, 917 of the bedroom makeover. The room is now empty. We are ready to do some major work, so we're gonna take the ceiling fan down because it is very hideous and so dusty. Uh, and we're gonna finish up getting ready to prime and paint. How are those holes coming along? Okay, the holes are coming along great. They're about to not be holes anymore. Um, I'm mixing, mixing some plaster of Paris to fill it up, so I'm just waiting for it to uh, set a little bit, and then I'm gonna cram it in the hole. Okay, it's, it, you can see it, got, it went from really soupy to like really thick frosting, so I'm gonna give it a go. Wish me luck. Yes. This is, it's the most satisfying feeling also, not gonna lie, of like squishing it in. All right, we painted the ceiling, which is now beautifully white, and we are priming the walls. It's getting really, really bright in here. <laughs> What's happening over here? 28,000 days later, the priming is done. We are ready to actually put color on the wall. Finally! Finally! <laughs> you guys want to see the color. Okay, ready? Da -da -da -da. It probably looks exactly like white. <laughs> no, you can see the green. Can you see? It's you like a totally super, it. it's like a super light green color that's supposed to be very relaxing and calming for a bedroom. Billy and I picked it out. You still like it? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Okay, here, here we, go. we go. Can you even see it? <laughs> so this is at ease. The green color that we chose. It's very light. It's very maybe vacation resort kind of color. Oh, resort. Yeah, yeah. I like right. The resort. So I'm digging it and the lights look awesome with it. Okay, next day, you know, look, it's Billy Bob. Oh my gosh! Okay, the room is, the, the paint is done in the room, which is amazing. We did two coats. I peeled all the tape off so you can see. We have a nice fake molding look at the top, which I love doing when I paint a room. Yeah, you can see the real difference between the green. You can't really read the green by itself, but when you see it yeah. against the ceiling white, it looks really good. I can't wait to see it with the furniture in here. And 59 <laughs> so years later, we're done <laughs> with the bedroom. But I think it looks great. Oh, it's really, really nice. The lights really pull it all together, which is my favorite part. So thank you to Penny Durek for sending those to us. We are obsessed with them. Mm -hmm. You can click the links uh, in the description of this video to see Penny Durek shops. But I'm so happy with the way they help pull everything together. And just, I love the color palette of this room. It just is very relaxing. And I yes. feel like we're gonna get a lot of like relaxing time in the winter months, relaxing time in the summer months. It works either way, so I'm loving it. Yes, and I'm looking forward to doing more home renovation projects that hopefully don't take 39 years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Yep. Bye. Bye. Why is it called Plaster of Paris? Was it made in Paris? Is this a Jessica Simpson chicken of the sea question I'm asking? <laughs> <laughs>